Hello all, we're going to do a campaign setup again here. I've done a lot of changes to this, so this is B-17 uh, Flying Fortress Leader, Vassal Module. Um, made it off of the uh, DVD game designed by Dean Brown. I enjoy this game a, a ton and uh, I don't have the board space or the table space rather to play it on the desktop um, I can make do but it's very inconvenient um, so I've been dying to make a uh, or wait for a uh, a, uh, a uh, module to be made and rather than wait I decided to make one on my own I've made quite a few modules in my my time um, this is probably the most extensive one I've made from scratch I've copied a couple others over uh, Corsair leader um, Phantom Leader, and I'm working on uh, IAF Leader. Um, I'm converting them to the uh, Hornet Hornet Leader format, the uh, Hornet Leader uh, second edition, newest edition. I uh, like all the belts and whistles and that. And so, kind of, I built this one close to those guidelines, um, although I'm not as quite in the same league as that creator. Uh, so yes, I have some bells and whistles in here, but you're still going to be required to do a lot of things manually. And I'm sure there's a few things I've missed along the line. So first off, we're going to do the uh, Allied Invasion. So you'll come in and you'll see this. And as you see, I have the ETO chits here that you're going to need for the campaign. We're going to go and hit Setup. And yes, you may think it's hanging up, but it's not. It's just going through all the cards and pulling out anything you don't need for this campaign. Um, in this campaign we are June of 44 to April 45. Now I use uh, the Excel program and I've been through this in my other videos and you're probably getting tired of me saying it but uh, this is this is the uh, one I use. I use all options so I have everything checked so it'll automatically compute the SO points for me and everything that I'm going to get to spend and I have 153 with all options. But I have in the meanwhile finished off the uh, player logs so we can fill that out now. Um, actually we'll do that in our campaign we're going to select from the list um, Allied Invasion 1944 to start and starting month is June SO points starting SO's are 100 And for those of you like me that have trouble reading, um, oh, I forget that already. 28 weekly, yes, 28 weekly. Oops. And our replacements are 18. And this will be sheet one. All right, as I was saying, for those of you that uh, are having trouble reading like I do sometimes, my eyes are getting a little older, I start this out at 63%, so you can make it 100%, and you see the clarity is there. It's it's a, a good scan. Um, nice and bright, everything's selectable. Um, even got an area for the notes. Uh, I do have a list for these and I do have a list for the uh, bomber groups. Say if you were to choose the uh, Hog Wild and you wanted to put a commander with them, you just go back in here, hit enter, and while it's still highlighted, click out here somewhere, put the backslash, and enter say, uh, oh Graham, say, uh, the only one I can ever think of is Raper, and I really hate that name. All uh, right, uh, something like that, those lines. Um, and then everything else is just click and enter. Um, me, I like to, if they're on mission one, I will put the, like uh, the damage they take over here so I can keep track of that as how much damage they got per missions. 
Um, some some do, some don't. Excuse me, but you have six log sheets to work with, so almost every campaign. I think every campaign fits in that criteria except for the the complete war. And if you're doing a complete war, I would highly suggest using uh, Excel or uh, paperwork anyway. You're going to go crazy trying to do it on uh, on these these uh, logs. Um, anyway, so let's get to, uh, we're going to go through the checklist here. Campaign setup. We did the campaign selection. Um, we're going to look at the special rules. Special rules. After starting the campaign, new B-17 groups cost 4 SO points less. Uh, banded attacks minus 2. Flak attacks plus 2. Minus 2, plus 2. So that's going to make them easier to hit. And... Uh, Flak attacks plus two. Flak spelled wrong. I just noticed that. And I am not sure now, reading that, if that applies to just the uh, B-17 groups or everyone. I'll have to see if I can get a clarification on that. Uh, place the ETO theater counter in hex 10. So let's do that first. Uh, I do have the uh, mouse over set so they can come up and be read it a little easier but also if the distance bothers you I also have this starting at like 50% so you can go up to 63% or even 100% you just lose screen set but as you can see it, it's uh, you're not going to kill the resolution any. It's it's a good scan. They got the uh, neoprene map scan from DVG to make this map, and uh, boy, that's an awesome quality picture. Um, so as you can see, it's nice and crisp, even at a hundred and hundred and sixty. I've never tried, but uh, still nice. You, you can't can't you have you spend the whole day going all over the place, but it's there. Um, anyway, my default is 50%. Uh, I also added Luftwaffe flags here, so you can remember the German critical hexes without having to look up in the rule book every time, because I tend to forget that myself. Um, so anyway, getting carried away again, as I am so want to do. Uh, all right. Um, Push the ETO theater counter forward from the Normandy beaches, hex 10 to Berlin 16, following that line. And no Luftwaffe squadrons behind the behind ETO theater remove upon advance. So, um, never played this before, so we're looking, I guess, at a die roll of 8 plus to advance, plus any modifiers we get, and that's going to be based on the... Uh, the, the modifications we get as we do our secondary targets and everything. Uh, so, minus 6 BPs for each hex short of Berlin. We will start this out with one recruit, two green, one average, one skilled, one veteran, and then everybody else we purchase during the initial purchase uh, period is going to be green. Uh, remembering that uh, B-17s of course, four points less after uh, after um, the initial start so um, we'll come down here now and start working our way through uh, allied technology we see what allied technology we have here and uh, what we have is chaff AP2 jammer H2X radar, YB40, the Azon bomb, the Chin turret, GB4 bomb, Disney bomb, drop tanks, P80 shooting star, and it's available in October. Um, just about everything. I do not have yet uh, the weapons uh, taken out during setup. I will be working on that, but it is not there yet because it involves a lot of things I just haven't mastered yet, which includes the flip and swapping of uh, weapons that 
do second half is used and I like to maintain um, chit integrity uh, that comes from DVG so you will find only the uh, amount of pieces on the game board here that you would get in the box from DVG uh, so um, I want to maintain that so therefore right now you're going to have to uh, limit yourself and watch yourself as you're playing to not grab things that aren't available you'd have to do that with your board game anyway so this is just uh, nothing to apologize about you, it's all manual on the board at least here you got some automation alright um, we are not going to purchase any technology or anything yet I'm just going to hit in the campaign setup as it goes down through the line the display sheet I've kind of already gone through that for a little bit with you um, we will go through the options. Uh, I'm doing weather. Now for weather I put the pieces right here. I have a piece made up for each location, each zone and they kind of almost fit right in. You can see if you look hard enough you can see them and I could probably line them up a hair better but they're fine where they're at. Um, let's see the other options I use let me go down through the checklist uh, random group which we're going to do in a minute when it tells us to buy aircraft target intel target intel pieces are always available to you here if you're not using target intel just ignore those stacks weather I just went over where those are bomber wings when I use bomber wings and I do I put my first bomber wing in these four hexes my second bomber wing in these four hexes my third bomber wing in these four hexes and my fighters down below. I'm not hexes, squares, or locations. Um, the only thing I do to try to uh, make uh, the wing assignments maybe a little more strategically realistic, in my opinion, is is if I normally assign wings as I draw them in order. Um, but because we're drawing everything in order as uh, as this, I will mix things up a little bit. So I won't have all my recruits in greens in one wing. So I do try to keep my long range bombers in with either medium range bombers or other long range bombers. And the same with the short range bombers. The fours, I try to keep them together with the, the short range bombers. and. Um, other medium range bombers. Uh, you're allowed from two to four uh, planes in each group with the wing option and all of the planes in that wing must attack the same target unless they are on an ASW or diversion mission. Um, so I like to keep it four because that gives me um, maximum planes for four targets or I can um, if they're, they're starting to get damaged up I can leave one or two planes home and assign two wings to a target or something um, it just leaves you a little bit more flexible if you only have three planes going on it that are really able to attack a target you can leave one back to rest um, you just can't split oh I want these two planes to attack this target from the wing I want these two planes to attack the second. No, they can't. They almost fly the same mission. Um, so I would leave some at home sometimes. Um, usually only when they're damaged. So if it comes down to where I have a four target, uh, four plane target, or four group target, and I have uh, guy, two guys from each group I want to use, and they're all healthy, I won't do that. Um, all four groups from one wing will have to attack that target. Uh, if they don't have the range for it then they stay home. Then when you start nitpicking and saying okay can I grab two from this wing to go along um, I'll leave that up to you and your discretion. I try not to do that. It just kind of spoils the fun. Um, uh, I'm getting ram rambling again. Um, anyway one two three bomber wings usually I will use that vet novice 
uh, bandits. So we're going to go up here. Actually, we're going to go down first and slide on over to my my uh, bandit counters. And we're going to go into the veteran and novice. And we are in 1944. So we're going to have three veterans. So we're going to take two of these off and throw them off to the side here. And then these are all going to get sent to the bandits. And we're going to have four novice counters. So we're going to take one of these off and we're going to send the other four to the bandits counter. And they all come up here and are now part of my bandits pool. And the last is engagement. So every time we have a dog fight or an encounter with my fighters, I will draw one of these over and they count as temporary casualties on the mission as uh, planes that have either run out of fuel, run out of ammunition, or damaged enough to ha or had to return to base for some reason or another. Um, another thing to make this game harder, which uh, I like using all the options, so it's more realistic. So I tend to forget them from time to time, which I don't like because I get extra points for them. So, enough rambling, we're doing that again. Um, let's set the, I think we're at the point where we can set the month, year, and day. The day is not uh, needed in this campaign so you will not find that counter anywhere. The day counter is only on the campaign card for the uh, I think it's operation argument. So we're gonna put this in June and we're gonna put this at 1 and this will go to 44. Year, month, day, week, etc. is done. Luftwaffe squadrons it says we're gonna grab 14 of them so I'm gonna grab 14 of them and I like to pull them over to here just like that let's go ahead and spread them out right now alright we can see everything there first one 18 oh, that's what I mean you gotta click elsewhere so sometimes and deselect things 3 13 11, 9, 16, 10, 6, 19, 6, 7, Five, nice and spread out. Fifteen, eight. I usually get behind the eight ball in the first month because my guys stink, and uh, that's all. Fourteen of them. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The only problem with my German flags is sometimes they look like counters. Um, so we have the little four squadrons out. Uh, we've placed them. Uh, war theaters are set. Uh, one starts in the med starts in Tunis. And uh, the USSR starts in East Poland. And uh, we're going to reset these to the big number of pad minus. To zero. Okay. And Luftwaffe response is going to be zero. All right. Now. We've got the bandit draw cup set. We may have to add more. We haven't chosen our commanders yet. Fighter and bomber groups. Here's where we're going to purchase some bombers and everything. So we're going to come back up here now. And we're going to put everybody in the decks. Because I do random. All right. 
so we're going to start with uh, we get one recruit drink that down to where we can see it I'll flash those cards up all right so we're going to start with recruit I always like to the, the fighters promote faster so I'm going to grab a fighter for my recruit and that's going to be the 20th fighter group I always seem to get them to not a whole lot of fighters to choose from so go figure so we're going to go ahead and demote him right away and that's control shift P and that's keyboard only if you look on the menu promote is shaded out and says keyboard only uh, that means you can only use keyboard to do that um, if you don't see a way to cycle down usually if you hold shift while you hit the control P or whatever the other option is it will decrease it in the opposite direction you just moved it. We're just trying to keep the uh, keyboard menus and the piece menus down to a minimum. Um, so he's ready to go and I will put him down here and we'll start filling out our log um, and I will I'm going to put this over here so it's out the way. Let's get our log up over here. Log sheet 1 log that down. I'm going to get rid of him because okay that's 20th fighter group. Let's do this over where you guys can see it. 20th. Oops. and they are recruit five and I, I like to put oops R5 down and then I'll keep track of how many XP's they've earned towards that level here and how many their total XP's are here and for this game instead of slashes and everything because of the limited amount of room we have I just went with a manually entering all the information in. Alright, so that's got him entered in there and actually I'm probably not going to do that anymore. I may show you later. I don't want you guys have to sit through a wealth of me uh, putting things in there. But he cost us 12. This is why I like to keep the uh, use the Excel because it does all the math for me and keeps track of things while I'm flying through this I can be done in a hurry and not have to uh, keep track of things and cheat myself later and now I'll start doing bombers uh, so we're going to start with two greens and I'm going to put uh, one green in each uh, wing so the first green is going to be good I get a B24 right off the bat so we've got at least some kind of range that's going to be the 93rd and um, he's going to go down to green and he will cost us 14 SO, 16 SO points and he will be part of wing 1 so the 93rd bomber group sixteen and he is <coughs> excuse me he has nothing special on him and he is green 5 all right, so we're left at 125. Let's get another bomber in here. This is going to be uh, uh, flak bait, and flak bait is we're going to start our third wing with him because he's only five, and I like to keep my short, short uh, distance bomber separate. So that'll be 322nd, and. Five and he is, oops, green five. <coughs> it is okay to send two wings to the same target. It is not okay to split a wing up to two targets. All right, so he costs us five points. So we still have 120 left to go. Another bomber. This one's going to be average. 
he's a six plus. So I'm going to go back to filling out my first wing. We'll put two in there. And he gets the chin turret upgrades. We'll go ahead and put that in right now. As you notice, it's one, it's one that's on the card, so he does not have the plus one ATA because it's already factored into his card. And he cost us 14 points. Now, bomber groups can be from two to four. Uh, bomber wings can be from two to four um, groups. So, that was 390, 398, correct? 398th, yes. And he's an average five. So we will uh, start drawing into our second and third groups now uh, to try and keep things even. And he costs us 14, so we're at 106. Next bomber, or B17F, he will go into that's the Memphis Bell, the 91st. They get Commander Way. You can either right click on here and, and add him in there, or you can, and these are deletable too. I made these so you can just, you don't have to keep them on them. I just like them there, so for informational purposes. If you draw them from the commander uh, deck down below, they're not deletable. Um, I would recommend doing that so you don't double up your commanders. If you like me, you'll forget things. But uh, 91st Bomber Group, he costs us 12. He costs us 12, and he gets Ray. I, I have a bad habit of losing commanders all the time. The other thing about uh, playing the wing option is, is you'll get one commander for each wing that can fly with any group within that wing at any time so um, keep that in mind all right so we still have 94 points another bomber oh yeah another eight um, he's gonna be my long range 458 it cost me 18 I'm gonna put him up in, in the first group 458 and he's going to be Ooh. Oh, oh, I forgot to make the, um, forgot to promote them up to skilled. Uh, S7 for the 91st. Getting ahead of myself. Alright, and we are into. The, uh, our veteran guy, the 3 6. Yes, this is our veteran. So, uh, Bomb Toten Mama, the uh, 458th will be Veteran. Alright. Veteran 7. And he gets a Chin Turret. And he will be part of my long range bomber group. And that takes us down to 76 points. Um, 306 will be green because we're back into the greens now. Green 4, and he will go into my second wing. And he cost me 12 points. And that is the 306 bomber group. And he gets nothing special. And um, one more bomber. Oh, very nice. We're going to do a lo little logistical uh, play here and take the. Uh, Here's hoping the 398th and move them down below. They will become part of my uh, short range bomber group. 
and he will be green and he cost me 22 22 solid points and that is the 499th ball I like it when I get them and uh, they get the chin turret also and he will go up here that's the only time I really mess around with the wings is I do think realistically you would put uh, like ranged bombers in a wing because uh, you would not want to four range with your 12th range and limit yourself so it's the only time I can do things like that right now we're at 42 points left we have the basis of three uh, groups and we need a fighter so we're going to draw a green fighter yet uh, that's going to be the Mustang, the 357th fighter group and he's going to cost us 15 points coming in green and he is green 6 alright and we'll put him down here with the 20th and he gets Graham and what I do is I'm putting these up there now I will draw them out of the uh, commander decks later I don't mind moving things around so R5 okay so that leaves us with 27 points left so first and foremost now because I know the importance of recon I've been burned too many times I'm gonna go ahead and purchase both recon markers and I'm gonna purchase both on their each side so that's gonna be 16 points right there so that's gonna leave me with 11 points left And according to the rules, um, I can for four SO points I can promote a group by one skill level. So I've got barely enough to promote two of them. We're going to come over here and take a look at our uh, our lower bombers. Um, let's get the Death Dealer will be the first one. I'm going to promote him up he's going to be average six that takes care of, he's one of our long ranges we gotta have him looking good uh, 93rd will be average six that's four points and then I really don't care too much about them because there are only four four weight points so we'll promote up the uh, the 306th also and it'll become average five and so that leaves us seven bomber groups to start and two fighter groups is which is what I usually like to go into things on with this setup we can still send two wings in one mission and one wing in the other have a four and three setup um, though one of these wings is uh, limited to four without buying drop tanks but we can buy drop tanks but they also take up his his uh, weight so you know there's everything's a compromise um ba -ba 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 -bum. let's put down eight points used we'll put that under equipment let's draw our three commanders actually let's draw the ones we earned first from the cards we need Graham and Ray and then I'll delete them so I don't double up we need Graham and then we need Ray these guys will come over to our groups and then we'll delete that out and Ray goes up here we'll delete that one out all right now we need three commanders one for each bomber group bomber wing one two three good I got raper so we're gonna we're just gonna do this all randomly and, and that's a shame Ra raper's actually gone to my least um, 
Oh, that's good. My least favorite bomber group, but that's that's why you do everything random. It's because you're not always given a choice of what you got, what you what you get to use. You just you got to do what you got to do, and um, that's part of the fun. So he will add an air to ground of plus two. Unfortunately, he's in my one of my lesser groups. But uh, you can ride him with the Earth's Hoping most of the time. Uh, Wilson will give us a ignore frontal attack, which I very rarely had come into play because I always seen to have fighters out there. But for long range stuff, that'll work. Unfortunately, these guys aren't long range. And Glatzenberg, situational awareness, is, which is big. And ASW plus two air to ground. That's big too because this B 24 here can do ASW. So, um,. Actually, I think both of the B-24s can. i got to verify that in the rules. All right, so back to the book as we're going through our... All right, commanders, recon assets, player log, bandits destroyed. Bandits destroyed is automatically set at zero. Aircraft factory targets. Let's draw our aircraft factory targets according to our campaign setup. We are getting five initial aircraft factories. Joy. Um, so I just pull them over here. And first off, look for. Oops. I went into a stack. I don't want them in a stack. We, we look for target notes to see if there's any target notes or are none. We'll go to target one, target two. Yeah, there are some target notes on him. He'll have extra bandits. Bandits too, according to his card. He'll go to target three. Target four. Target five. And then, before we do anything else, we will take and we need two, two, four, two, and three on our supply. Two, two, four, two, three. All right. And also, I do like to put my target locations down. So one will go in eleven. Good. That'll be for my short range group. Two will go in eleven. Another one for my short range group. Three will go in sixteen. Long range. Four will go in seven in range of both all my groups. Five will go into nine in range of all my groups. Good, good, good start. Now, uh, shuffle the target deck. That's all automatically shuffled. Uh, supply counters, we've done that. Airfield targets. According to our campaign setup, we're going to have three airfield targets. That'll be six. Oh, we got some target notes here. Bandits and an extra Luftwaffe response. And he will go to target seven. And then one more. And he gets target notes too. ETO plus one. And we'll send to target uh, eight. All right. And let's set these guys down. So if he gets destroyed, we're going to add one to our die roll for the ETO um, roll, and we'll put that we'll put the modifier uh, chit down here. All right. Uh, so six goes to twelve. Oh, nice. A lot of our initial targets are within range of all my bomber groups. A lot of them. Good. All right. Now, event cards. They're all shuffled, ready to go. Campaign target cards. Um, we don't have any specific for this campaign. We're just going to be using secondary targets. So, uh, 
We'll get to that in a minute. Secondary missions now. <coughs> We're going to come up here <coughs> and grab the secondary mission card. And we get a ETO Tactical Missions 4. So we're going to go ahead and send that to my secondary target deck and get rid of this. And that gives us uh, draw 10 tactical targets and attack in current ETO Theater Hex. Destroy all. So we have two months to get them out of the way. <coughs> the good thing is, is we have our short range bombers or we're going to be able to do that. S success, we get to advance the Western Track by one. Failure, we, we lose two SU points uh, per re remaining target and no advance. That's a pretty costly <coughs> failure, pardon me. So we need 10 targets and um, the tactical targets we put um, by destruction. So we're going to draw 10 of them. So let's draw, we're just going to do this, that's one, it's destruction four, two, destruction three, three, four, ooh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, double check that, The only problem is I do not stack all these pieces, so when you go to look at them, it's not going to show you all of them. You got to do it individually. <coughs> There's our ten targets, and we got two very, actually four very difficult ones. Well, five plus isn't hard to get, but we got ten of these, so that's ten missions in a month that we've got to get rid of five each, I mean two months, and uh, so five each uh, once. So we're going to be looking at one to two missions a week are going to have to go after these targets so that's going to limit my my chances at going after other uh, other things so that's a that's a that's a harsh card German defense commanders here's where things usually get interesting for me when I put them all the way up here just because I did not want to have the complete stack down here because uh, if I make a deck of it your limits on what you can do with the cards and I don't want to be limited um, so I just have you drawing from the demand commander deck up here we drew we drew commander graph I don't think I've ever used him before oh boy wished I hadn't um, he also is a pretty tough competitor. He has a 1 to 2 for poor, 3 to 5 average. So half the time you're going to be getting a, a higher than average response out of your Luftwaffe. Um, he also has the flat gun radar so we're going to go in here and hit that and we're going to put that into the uh, time track one month in advance of our, our mission. So uh, we're going to have trouble with that. I hate the extra flak. That stuff has ripped me up before. Um, and also he has U-boat support and group attack. So when we roll for bandits on bombers, we roll once. And all the bandits that make it past our fighter support will attack that single bomber group. That could be interesting. So we're going to draw two U-boats. Uh, now I, the U-boats the are either available here, um, I have them on this card, uh, you can either use them on the card or you can use them down in the, um, the ones I have staged down by the map. I'd prefer to use these because these are non-deletable 
and um, just cleaner. Uh, so he's going to have two of those rolling five twice. One, two, so we get only one U boat. So that's not bad. So we'll delete that U boat there and we're going to draw out one of the twos down here. So that's not horrible. We'll probably have an ASW mission. Well, we'll definitely have one in the first month. And here we go again with uh, so many distractions from getting rid of some of the aircraft and things that we need to get rid of. It's just going to be a very interesting. Uh, first month it looks like and the other goodie is construct new aircraft factory so we get one more aircraft factory now and we're gonna send that to where are we at target 9 and that's in the Netherlands so the good news is is a lot of our targets are within easy reach um, bad news is is we've got a lot of targets that are not going to get rid of uh, too many squadron scores that we have to take care of in the first month but that's what it is um, should have plenty of opportunity to take out bandits with the uh, responses that we're probably going to get uh, tactics um, he's got the group I talked about that earlier um, we put his technologies out we don't have any special weapons that have special weapons targets he just has the flat gun radar which doesn't have one and that takes us to the end of setup so I will probably be playing this one out no I will definitely be playing this one out on uh, videos I'm going to go through and make sure my logs are all complete and everything you guys don't need to see that and then I'll come in and, and record uh, week one and we'll see what we can start knocking out um, thanks for joining me um, I really like this game. This is an awesome game. Uh, thanks to D Brown for his efforts and Dean Brown for his efforts in um, designing this, and, and it has fast become one of my favorite games. Uh, thank you all again for joining me, and uh, you all have a great day or night.